Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you some of my favorite features about Sublime Text 2, and this is the multi-select. So if you're familiar with TextMate 2, that this feature might be very welcome and at home, it might be something you're totally used to, but there is a little bit of a difference in the version that Sublime Text has that's really cool. So I'm going to get started with the most basic usage. Let's say you have a, an unordered list, right? You want to make an unordered list here. You, we'll do a UL and we'll close it up right here. And you've got to make a list item. You got to type it out, type your stuff, list item, close it. Okay, next one. Well, what happened, you know, what if you wanted to have, let's say, five list items and, or ten list items? You had to do this a whole bunch. Um, it'd just be a pain, right? So if I do a space here and then do a bunch of spaces, um, so I'm going to have my cursor here. I'm going to hold down the Option key. Then I'm going to drag down, and you're going to see this cursor lines up like this. Well, that's really cool because what we can do now is we can start typing li, and then we can do a close list item. And here we just made a whole bunch of list items. Let's tab these all over. And let's say you had anchors in here. Well, now you can even start with an anchor. And you can type all this stuff, and it will save you so much time. Now all you have to do is go in and fill out your list items individually. Uh, yes, okay, and let's say these are all going to be uh, like a pound sign. You can click here, again, hold option, go down, shift pound, really cool, right? So it allows you to uh, edit multiple lines at once. Well, let's say I came in here and I made uh, maybe a similar mistake on all sorts of these lines. Let's say I have a, a space randomly inside of here, and none of them want, none of them needed to do that. Well, there's another way you can use this multiple select uh, by holding the command key instead of the option key. We're going to hold command, and we'll have the cursor. Make sure you have the cursor somewhere where you'd want it to be. Hold command, and then I'm going to click here in front of this space. Here in front of this space in front of this space and then in front of all of my spaces and you'll notice that it's creating multiple cursors on the screen. If we, Likewise if we were to start to type it would start to type or if we delete it's going to delete get rid of that all of our spaces at once even though they're not in a straight line. And yet still if I wanted to get rid of all this stuff I don't like it anymore I can just hold option drag down and here's my cursors or I can grab it in a big old selection like this. Um, let's say if I wanted to get rid of most of these anchors, I could do it like this, get rid of a lot of these anchors just by holding the option key, selecting and dragging. And uh, really, I, I find myself using this all the time. Um, and I'm going to use the command to get all these out of here. Command, command, OK. Ow, OK, perfect. We got one they're gonna add here, but yeah. So this is multiple selection, and it comes in really handy. Uh, just likewise, if you're doing a find and replace, like if we do uh, Command Option F, and we're gonna find um, L I, what it's gonna do if we click Find All, it actually selects uh, the multiple selectors in front of these items. So if I did, like I did, Command Option F, and then clicked Find All. That's how it puts this multiple selectors in front of all of the list items on the page. And then from here, I can type backspace and it's going to get rid of them. Or I can just keep typing like this and it's eventually going to go down and then they're gone. And let's say if we wanted these to be, uh, oh, I have, turns out there was an li up here. Uh, but let's say these are span. We want these to be span tags now. <laughs> it's typing it up there as well, which is great, but uh, perfect. So this is multiple selection in Sublime Text 2, and you can use it in all sorts of ways. It comes in really handy all the time. So check it out. Let me know what you think. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.